feel like I'm constantly doing this thing while I'm doing this back and forth, back and forth thing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited to do this video, right? Like I'm back to my channel and I, I, I kind of feel like I'm going to rumble a little bit because I am really, really exhausted. I had a long weekend of work and I decided that I'm going to film this today. Because I mean, after work is relaxation and this is actually my relaxation so my name is Ifa Labi whilst you are here be subscribed to my channel and check out this video you're watching right and then let's do the show so this show I'm actually going to do a yay or nay about it's called Marvel's Runaways right so disclaimer for everybody out there if there's a new show you're going to get into it whether it be a movie a TV show or a book please read the synopsis please read the blurb because I went into this show blind like that's my big confession. I went into the show blind. I didn't actually check out the trailers. I didn't check out the synopsis. Nothing. I was just like, it's Marvel, so let's just get into it. Let me just watch it and I understand it. So after the first episode, I was hella confused. I was like, what's happening here? What is it? Cause I was like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't for the life of me figure it out. And I was like, you know what? Let me just do what normal people do. Let me see the trailers. Let me read the synopsis. Let me actually get what this show is about. You know, because sometimes you can't just figure it out on your own. You need help. So I think that's the key word here. Everybody needs help. So then that's it. So the show is called Marvel's Runaways. It's showing on Hulu. And it's part of Marvel's, you know, franchise that tries to expand their TV universe. So this is also another offering for their expansion into TV. So, so far we've got some like three, no, four new shows or five. No, four new shows for Marvel for this Fall. So there's The Gifted, there's Marvel's Inhumans, there's The Punisher, and then this latest one, Marvel's Runaways. I'm sure by the time next year comes, we would have more from Marvel and DC. But so far, DC hasn't released any new TV show. It's Marvel that is trying to, you know, speed up their TV presence, much like how DC has, you know, has an established TV presence. So let me just read the synopsis for what Marvel's Runaways are, and then I'll get you into, like, my thoughts and everything. My year or name. Okay, so... Runaways. So it's actually it's not actually Marvel's Runaways. It's just Runaways. There are times when pretty much every teenager thinks his or her parents are evil. But what if it was actually true? That's a situation six Los Angeles teenagers find themselves in when they stumble upon a terrible secret and realize that their parents have been lying to them for their entire lives. Their offspring begin an investigation to try to figure out what their guardians are after, while the adults wonder if the kids are hiding secrets of their own. You know. So it's a very normal children hate parents and parents are trying to figure out what the children are doing. What with superhero abilities? So let me just say this. Heading into this show, I thought because it's going to be for Marvel, you are going to have like, you know, the normal superhero abilities or like the normal, you know, he can fight so big, he can do blah blah blah. I don't know. Werewolf! I don't know why I was thinking about a werewolf, but werewolf! I actually had I don't know, I had an inclination for Werewolf. So, getting into this show, I thought it would actually be more like The Gifted. But, watching the show, it's way different than The Gifted. Like, no, it doesn't, like, it doesn't have, it doesn't, like, go on the same premises. It's, like, way different from The Gifted. And, to me, my biggest, what I really, really like about the show, like, my biggest thing about the show is the fact that the villains are actually the parents. Like, you know, most of the time, when, like, they are doing all these marvel and these when are doing all these shows or all these movies the villains are sometimes they're out of the way or like maybe your friend that is outside you know all those things like they make the villains like an outside force in but this time the villains are the people that actually gave birth to you like would you actually think that your parents could be evil like you know when you're a teenager like when you're growing up you think that man i really hate my parents because they're blah 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 yeah what if like that's what you're like these parents are actually like that and that's what I really like about it. So the fact that you're actually trying to combat an evil that is someone that's supposed to protect and love you. Isn't that amazing? So then that's about Marvel Runaways. And it follows six teenagers. So for the life of me, I thought that I would not like it once again. Because, you know, I, I think I'm growing up so I've gotten over, you know, high school dramas. Then I realized that how much I like Riverdale. And then I like Runaways too. So then that's just it. And even though emphasis isn't placed on their superhero abilities, they still have some, you know, latent abilities. Because one of the characters is an alien. It's just so weird. Like, she literally glows. She has this band that 
inhibit her powers or her aliens what's it called yeah her true self so she's an alien that actually glows i don't know for now where i'm going i think i've seen just three episodes so for now i don't know what it is that she does one of them one of the girls she has like super strength one of them can actually i don't know communicate with her mind she's a mind reader and there's this asian girl that is a witch wiccan no witch she's a wiccan which is personally like the same thing so she's like a witch right i think so and then one of the guys is like, you know, he's super smart. He's like the lead strategist. He, you know, figures out what, where it's going, what, at what point. And then there's this damn jock person in it who is actually very smart than what he's letting on. So all in all, you know, it is a very dysfunctional group of friends. And funny enough, the showrunner of this Runaways is the same person that the Gossip Girl. So even though Gossip Girl is very, you know, raunchy and very Gossip Girl, I like the, you know, that same angst that he brings to the show. That same, you know, we have differences and we don't really set, like, we don't really click. So this show is set a year after one of their friends supposedly committed suicide and died. So it sees them not being friends anymore right now. They are with different groups and then something happens that forces each of them to come together. And then something happens that they see their parents sacrifice a girl so that's what it's based on so the whole show they're going to figure out who their parents actually are like what is the end game one thing i like about the show is that it focuses on the children because you know the gift that was actually started out focusing on the children right now it's moved away from the children to be about the adults but with this show it's more about the children because even though you see the adult interaction you are still pulled back to how it affects the children and not just the adults like at each point in time you want to see how's that affecting this guy how's that affecting you know the wildest how's that affecting mold how's that affecting you know at each point in time you want to see how the actions of the parents reflect on the children so this show is very eccentric to like this show is very central to the children so it's kind of like how stranger things is for children but adults really like get a kick out of it that's how runaways is like because when i was going into watch the first episode i thought oh lord i wouldn't like the show but after the first episode i was like what's going to happen oh my god like you get it another thing i like about the show is that it's so far removed from the marvel cinematic universe you know all of those franchise the x-men and all those other things i hear that it's actually part of that universe but I don't care because it, it, I feel like it's not part and I'm well off thinking it's not part so I like the whole thing that it stands on its own is about you know a different kind of people that live in this cinematic universe and that's fine by me you know so every time I have to think who has this person related to Thor Captain America no these are like people that are trying to come up on their own trying to figure out you know what's going on trying to be crime fighters of I don't know something but they're just trying to not be like their parents so then that's cool it's all cool and everything so genuinely this show is a really good show I'd really recommend it to anybody out there that is having like a stranger things withdrawal or is having like something new to watch or is just looking for kicks the Christmas not about you you know Christmas is just around the corner and this show is going to be on it's just 10 episodes right and so far only five episodes are out i'm yet to see the four and five but so far five episodes are out so you know, it's just something to you know binge watch and then like enjoy like you seriously really enjoy it don't think that mm, it's a bunch of teenagers are going to look down on it that's a mistake don't do it so for my rating on marvel's runaways i'd give it a nine out of ten because it's really good the dialogue is really good but it's not as fast paced like the thing I don't like about the show is that you don't like it's not fast paced, it's not trying to like it's very slow as to what is provoking each and every one of them. I know it's because I've watched three episodes, so I'm like I'm trying to jump the gun a little bit. But I want to feel like what drives each character, like what is making each character do what they are doing at this point in time. I don't know if you really get me because at this point, it's like mm, you know, everybody's just so laid back about the whole thing, trying to figure it out. But I want to see action. And that is kind of what's missing for me at this point in time. Like, that's the only thing I don't like about it. Like, there's no action. And also, the villains, I don't know. I want to see more villainy from the parents. I get that their parents want to see more villainy. Prove yourselves to me. That sometimes when you hate parents, we hate them for a good reason. All right? Okay. So now, now this year on Nay video, my name is Ifwa Labi. You know, yada, yada, yada. But actually, my name is Ifwa Labi. 
you subscribe to my channel because you know I'd be very hurt if you don't subscribe to my channel and it's like why won't you subscribe to my channel it's like why why are you doing this to me really after everything anyways please subscribe to my channel check out my other videos that are going to be here and the next time I'm going to do a check-in on the Arrowverse and this time I'm not going to do a check-in on all the Arrowverse because honestly that thing will just tear me but I'm going to do they have this four huge major events. It was called Crisis on FX. And for this video, I'll try and pull my sister to do it. Because, oh my god, her opinions are not. Because I'm going to compare the Crisis on FX to Justice League. So if you've seen both of them, please leave your comments below. And I really want my sister to do this because she's very hilarious, right? She's like a hoot. So then, you know, after you subscribed and checked out my other videos, I'll see you in my next video, right?